What's good, y'all? Master Sir here. Tokyo Ghoul Re live reaction is in the description below. Here's my thoughts on the episode. Yes. By the way, we seem to be clicking around here. I'm multitasking, trying to get this stuff ready for this thing you're watching right now, actually. But anyways, <laughs> straight up, man. We are moved into the shoe arc. There's a lot more about shoe. Not saying more about shoe than anything else, but the shoe was one of my favorite characters in the first Tokyo Ghoul, so. Kind of sucks to see him like this. You didn't know I read the manga for re. I didn't, I didn't catch up. I got to like chapter 100, but. Yeah, this next, the next few episodes not going to be the easiest for me. I ain't going to lie to you. So, you have to bear with me for the next couple of weeks. Especially next week, right? Next week, you know. But anyways. Straight up, yeah. Kane is basically. Kane is in, in. I should kind of relate to this position, to be honest with you. I don't want to talk about that. This ain't this ain't gonna be easy for me. I ain't gonna... But anyways, basically you had that moment with you know Ayato. He was in there talking to those fuckers in that room about he and me. They didn't give a shit. Talking to I had to say that bullshit. Ghouls caring about ghouls, but the fuck we do that. We always did that shit. You just been on the other side this whole time, bitch. But anyways, so I put him in his tough spot. I say trying to. Think he he doing it right with he to be trying to smooth things out, but now everywhere he goes, everything he does, remind him Kaniki. That shit. So, there's just really tough spots for people right now. You think we'd be chilling after that damn last operation, but nah, especially Shirazu, because I didn't know I, I didn't know it was legit. Requi I didn't even say requirement, but I should have really saw this. Like you, your next uh, weapon, King Kent, whatever it's called, is basically the Ghoul, you just beat. I mean, it's been obvious trends, so I don't know why I'm too surprised. I mean, Jason, you know, that's Juzo. You know, it's fucking, uh, he and his mom. Obviously, your model got that shit. Akira. So it's like, should be too surprised. But anyways, man. Uh, as far as uh, the senior squad that showed up, especially the girl with the pink hair, I don't remember too much about them in the manga. I just remember enough to know that that's going to be some shit right there. So, ha. <laughs> it's hype around that one. But yeah, man. We're just basically setting up for the current investigation we're going on with the whole thing with Rose. But you know, right now it's revolving a lot around Shu. And you know, they got basically, they got rolled up on. Well, they was, it was a trap, but it was basically rolled up on. That little girl running around. The little mouse. Yeah, if I was it, she, she better wash her ass. But anyways, man. I guess I'll talk about it at least a little bit. The thing with Shu, I'm kind of basically just trying to do Shu some justice. Basically, that whole loyalty thing they got going on, whatever, the whole family thing they got going on. You can't do anything to help, but you don't want to leave. You know, that kind of thing. But it's kind of like staying there longer. Is you're going to self-destruct eventually. And it's the same shit you can really do. So, kind of feel for that, especially since it's one of my top characters. Speaking of which, what the hell, Tokyo Ghoul? I ain't see Akira, Juzo, Eto. I, I gotta see Ju Shu in this position. What the hell? You're, you're hurting me right now. Like, what's this? <laughs> but anyways, man. Yeah, really, this episode more than anything else is really just setting up. So, yeah. That blob-headed motherfucker. I'm talking about gonna send a body part back to Shu. And then episode, Shu saw fucking high six pictures with Monty Kaniki straight up like that. I don't know why you didn't take it that in the first place. Kind of, but he he don't know the position they. I mean the relationship they had. Next week. <laughs> oh, man. It has really more over. Once you really understand the situations of what's going on right now in this episode, there's really ain't too much to actually talk about. I guess. So really, I'm done already. Hmm. This is back to normally my views used to be. I ain't had that much to say. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Obviously, we're into some shit, but that's so cool, cool fashion, so. This is one of those, I'm gonna let my reaction speak for itself. So, hit my live reaction in the description below. Thank you very much. Watch the video, leave a comment, let know what you think. Like this video for me, and I'll see y'all. Peace out. Thanks for watching.